I'll go fly a kite, Charlotte. <laughs> now, them's the faces I like to see. Who's first? Me, me. You. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oh, what's your name, Cutie Pie? Sabrina. I don't want much for Christmas. Some socks would be okay. Socks for Christmas? Oh, what is it you really want? A kitty, a doggy, a pony. Some roller skates for me and my dog. You sure? That's what you want. I'd like a big red bowl. Why did Homer do that? We don't have any money for Christmas. Well, Nobody does. Well, maybe there really is a Santa Claus, Edna May. You never know. Oh, Charlotte. To tell you the God's honest truth, this is the saddest Christmas I ever spent. Because the whole family knows it'll be our last one in Willow Creek. Oh, give it a while, Edna May. <laughs> Apart from the livestock, honey, which of them things do you really want? A G.I. Joe. Well, uh, I ought to sit in Homer's lap. Tell him what we all want for Christmas is for that darn cannery to open up again. Come on, honey. Oh. I want a set of exploding demolition derby cars and a truck that turns into a robot. Oh. Is Al finally coming home this year? Oh, I love them California oranges he always sends. Third good Wiggins, one set of demolition derby exploding cars and a truck that turns into a robot. Got it. A pair of bunny rabbit slippers and ribbons for her hair for Cleo Rowe. Got it. Gerald Hi. Had a baseball hat, a catcher's mitt, and a toy <laughs> Got it. Look, didn't anybody tell you that the new secretaries are supposed to wander around the office so I can check out their legs? <laughs> Janie Everett, ballet slippers, a set of watercolors, and a pair of sunglasses. Red sunglasses. What is your name? <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> Turtle? <laughs> well, what kind of name is Turtle? It's my name, all right? <laughs> That's it, huh? The whole shooting match? You got every kid in town, and nobody knows about it but us two. Okay, now. Guess who's gonna be driving her up? You don't mean it. It's gotta do a man so good to have a well, white Christmas once more in his life. Hey, what's he writing all that stuff down for? Oh, Al's kind of a Christmas nut, you know? Every year, he sends a bunch of fruit and stuff up to his hometown in Alaska. This year, though, he's personally taking up a whole truckload of toys and, you know, stuff like that. I think the town's on its last legs or something. He must really have the spirit of Christmas, doesn't he? Yeah. But that's not really the question here, is it? The question here is, do you like truckers? My name's Ray. <laughs> Good. Now listen up, because I'm sending something else, too. What? I ain't going to tell you. It's a surprise, but you'll like it. It's a humdinger. Al, I told Edna May Fish this morning there really was a Santa Claus. Hmm? You're him. Bah, humbug. Hey, look, I'm hanging up now. This phone call is costing me too much money. I'll see you in four days. Ray, let's get a beer. Then we'll do some shopping. <laughs> no, no way. I'm not going in there, Al. Why not? You know why not. Listen to that music. Nobody pays good money to hear fat Italian people sing. The only reason they got on the jukebox is for him. Hey, Pete, why don't you just throw your kid over your knee and let him have it? <laughs> He's 15, Martha Jane. So? The real problem is me being gone so much. Hmm. Maybe if Mike and I spend a real nice Christmas together. Been on the road the last two. Maybe 
you need help? <sighs> I don't know. Well, he's not mad at me, and I'm the one who's buying. who stays and who leaves, don't you? Why don't you guys just shoot each other and get it over with? Well, you have had worse ideas lately. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for a certain woman I could name... Oh, come on, Al. I don't harp on that, huh? Mm. Mm. Al? You all right? Yeah, I think so. Just a little pleurisy. Can I get you something? I'm in a glass of water. All right. Oh, you wait right here. How'd you like to take in a Raiders game with me this Sunday? Guess not. I got a tree. Yeah, so what? Well, I was thinking maybe we could get down the decorations and trim it later on. Maybe make some popcorn and string it up like we used to. You mean like me and Mom used to? You and me don't even need a Christmas tree because you ain't even gonna be here. Yes, I will. I'm not going on the road this year. Yeah? And why not? But, well, maybe so you and I can spend Christmas together. How about that? Oh, there's a thrill. So, you're still not going to tell me what's up in the front of the load, huh? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. First time you go to sleep, I'm going to climb back here and check it out. No, you won't. <laughs> you're too lazy to move all that other stuff out of the way. Leave any room for my bike? Oh. Ray! you ride with him, Mrs. Al? I'm coming along and hold this old fool's hand. Sorry, ma'am, we can't allow that. Oh, yes, you can. Doggone. How am I supposed to drive? You aren't. Now, just relax. Ellen, this is the most important thing I've ever done in my life. That load's got to roll out of here tomorrow. Okay. Until Overland Lumber makes a decision to come here, maybe we can go to Washington for some disaster relief. Economic depression isn't a disaster. Well, it is to me and my family. Yeah, me too. We should never have closed the cannery. Doggone it. The firm took away the operation and the orchard contract and left Willow Creek with an empty building. Don't you think we tried to keep him here? Willow Creek's a wide spot in the road in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's gonna bring in a new business here. Dad, gummit, can't you people talk about nothing but the death of this town? 
Christmas is coming. Ah, shut up, Homer. You're taking being Santa Claus far too seriously. This is economic reality we are discussing here. It's got nothing to do with Christmas. Mayor, there ain't nothing in this town right now that doesn't have to do with Christmas. Willow Creek is gonna live or die depending on this Christmas. You mark my words. Well? Look, I love you now. You know that. But I can't go. Can't you bury the hatchet with Ray? After all, you never were married to Jesse. Just leave Jesse out of it. Besides, Ray isn't the main reason. I can handle him. The thing is, I promised Mike that I'd spend Christmas with him. Well, take him along. <sighs> I'd have to handcuff him to the truck. Pete, getting that load to Willow Creek is the most important thing in Al's life. The doctor said this was just a warning, and he's okay now. But I'm telling you, it'd kill him if that truck didn't get there. It's got to be there by Christmas, and Ray's got to be with it. Why? Al's got his reasons. And if it's that important to Al, it's got to be that important to the people who love him. Pete, you know that no one but you can control Ray for that long a trip. Al knows that, too. You're the only one he can depend on. I suppose one more Miss Christmas isn't going to make that much difference. Oh, Pete. Yeah, so what are you telling me for, huh? What do I care? I'm telling you because I, I, I said we'd spend Christmas together, that's why. Mike, I want you to understand that it would take something this important for me to break my promise to you. You could come along. No way. I can spend Christmas with my friends now. private property what the hell is the matter with you you want to go to jail you want to be a criminal what do you want me to do thank you very much and uh, what have you got in the ice chest with you seeing me off don't worry it's not beer it's enough for my famous chili to last me for four days or maybe lunch and dinner for two what what are you talking about? Oh, terrific. What's he doing here? Oh, now, hold on just a second. This isn't fair. That thing, Ray. I'm not going anywhere with you. Shut up and unhook it. Is that Mikey up there? Yeah, we're spending Christmas together. Truck, Ray. I said, get in, Ray. Hey, man, don't tell me what to do. Ray, get in. Take care now. You're a good man, Pete. I ain't that good, Al. I'm just trying to be fair. We'll get it there for you. Thanks. You bet. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Bye now. Bye, Pete. Those two guys will be okay together. 
What an exciting prospect. A road trip with Mr. Personality. I know you, man. 22 hours, 4 minutes, and 6 seconds to Seattle or bust. Are you going to stop every now and then so we can go to the bathroom? Get out right now if you want to. Hey, I'd do it in a second. All right, do it now. I'll pull over right here. Keep driving. Just say the word. I said keep driving, all right? I don't need you to tell me to keep driving. La -da. Merry Christmas, one and all. Hey, Sharda! Get out here! Christmas to come back to Willow Creek, and I ain't coming down till it's here. Yeah. Oh, joy, we get to listen to fat people sing the Porker Parade. Hedwig Stromberg, huh? This her? Yeah. Hey, I'm a son of a gun, man. She's a dead ringer for Chuck Connors. Look at that jaw. It's real funny, Ray. No, I mean it. Wait a second. Here. Yeah. Hedwig Stromberg, warbling the title role, is best known to TV fans as the Rifleman. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so what's your story, Slim? You were uh, painting something green, decided to use your head as a paintbrush? Uh-huh. Well, a year ago, he had hair down to his shoulders. A year ago? Man, I can't even remember that far back. Yeah, well, time flies when you're having fun. So, what brings you in here? I was on my way. Well, what can I get for you? Wait, let me take a wild stab in the dark. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee's fine. So. <sighs> so, are they keeping you busy around here? Not all that busy. Here you go. When do you mean? I was thinking maybe evenings. You finally did it. <laughs> <laughs> what? You've only been coming in here every other day for the past two months, sitting at the same table, ordering the same thing, coffee, from me. You know, you're just about the shyest man I think I've ever met. You divorced? Thought so. Got any kids? Yeah. I'm raising my teenage son. Well, you're real sweet, too. I'd love to go out with you. You would? Great. Welcome to beautiful downtown Bakersfield. Well, Mike, you've never seen this part of California before. What do you think? It's junk. What a fun trip so far. Charlotte. Well, what's wrong with you two? Are we going to have any Christmas, Charlotte? Well, of course we are, Sabrina. Christmas is coming, kids. The best Christmas this town ever had is on its way. You made a call back there. Who'd you call? I didn't call anybody. I washed up. Washed up, huh? Are you sure you weren't talking to my wife? Ray, I have no intention of ever calling and talking to your wife. Well, you better not. 
Because you're on this trip for one reason and one reason only. What are you talking about? Oh, come on, man. We're going through Vancouver, and you know who lives in Vancouver now. I don't. Come on, man. You know, and you just want me to say, well, I'm not going to say, because that would suit your purposes fine, wouldn't it? Because you know. And you know that I know that you know, because that's why you're here. <laughs> What's so damn funny? <laughs> Jesse's in Vancouver. Is that what this is all about? All right, see, you knew it the whole time. Jesse lives in Vancouver. Well, that's it, pal. We're settling this right here and now. We're pulling off the side of the road. All right, get out of there. Come on, Pete, get out of there and fight me. Get back in the truck, Ray. Come on out of here. Look. You're the one who stole Jesse from me. I'm the one who should want to fight. Well, then go right ahead. It's your lucky day. Free shot, brother. Get back in the truck, Ray. No, what's the matter? Are you scared? Get Are you back. scared? Is that what it is? Get back Are in the you truck. Scared? Knock it off! Hey! You! Fight. Hey, 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 hey! Let go! Hey, leave him alone! Trying to steal my car! I'm calling the police. Now, just hold on a second. You get in the truck. Go on. Get! Look, I'm sorry about all this. It's, it's my son. We're having some problems, you know? I wish there would have been some blood. What were those two fighting about anyway? They always fight. How in there? It's my dad. Well, solve your problems, why don't you? Get in the truck. The other guy's my uncle. Don't leave the keys in your car anymore. The brothers. Hey! we could do to get you to come down from there? Oh, darn it, Charlotte, I don't know. Leave me alone. He's crazy is what I think. Either he's crazy or he's right. No, sir. He's wrong. He is dead wrong. Four ham on whole wheat, four cheeseburgers with the works. Keep an eye on him, Ray. I'll be right back. I'm gonna wash up. So what'd you do anyway? I got busted. My friends and I were just having some fun, right? And uh, we ended up breaking a few grocery store windows. The cops came, my buddies took off, I got caught. Then I talked some trash to the cops. Big deal, right? Right. That's it. We follow I-5 all the way up to Vancouver. We cut across to Hope and pick up Canada Rod Point. You see it? Yeah. Oh, hey, there's Willow Creek just over the border of Alaska. This chili is radical, Uncle Ray. Well, it ought to be. Came in second two years running in the Coast to Coast Chili Cook-Off. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody's got to have one hidden talent, right? You know, playing with this map is kind of interesting. Well, it's not that much unlike schoolwork. That could be interesting, too, if you give it half a chance. <laughs> Ray. Oh, come on, man. You slay me. You know, it's not that much unlike schoolwork. That could be interesting, too, if you give it half a chance. <laughs> you know what he used to do in school? He used to sit in the back of English class and about every two... Ray, knock it off. I mean it. Oh, I suppose I can't say anything about how you and Chester and Featherstone blew the plumbing out of the gym, either, can I? Ray. <laughs> man, I tell you, Mikey, the old man wanted to kill him. He really blew the plumbing out of the gym. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Hey, look, I am trying to talk to my kid, okay? Will you just stay out of it? Or what? What are you going to do, huh? You want to know what your problem is, brother? Your problem is you want your kid to be just like you, only you mean just like you are now. 
You were a half-decent guy when you were a kid. Where'd you go, man? I didn't steal Jesse from you. You bored her to death. And if that don't make you want to fight me, then the hell with you. I want to get some sleep. Look out. You're hopeless. You're just about the shyest man I think I ever met. I'd love to go out with you. I didn't steal Jesse from you. Now you bored her to death. Have you heard the one about... <laughs> Don't, oh, do you know where you find a turtle with no legs? No, where? Same place you put him down. <laughs> <laughs> Double cheeseburger. That's right here, ma'am. And potato skins. Steak sandwich for Pete. And the chicken sandwich must be yours. Yeah. Manuel didn't want to cut the crusts off. I think it offended his manhood or something. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> Tell him thanks. Stick out your little finger. What? Stick out your little finger. All right. Hello, I am from Mars. Martians are like Earth people in every respect, except that their reproductive systems are contained in their little fingers. We've just made love. <laughs> So bad. <laughs> You're so bad. Come on, Pete, light up. <laughs> Such a party pooper. Jeez. Hey, Mikey. What do you say, huh? Oh. Uh oh, I. The Reno's 80 miles out of our way. He'd freak. <laughs> All right. Don't do this. As soon as that pulp mill gets built, everybody gets back to work. We don't have a dime left for our name. But couldn't you wait a, a few more days till Christmas? I got a feeling. Daddy, please. All right, we'll leave after Christmas. <laughs> You are depressing everyone in this town. Just send me up a pup tent. Looks like I might be here for a long time. Uh, Homer, just shut up. Hey, jingle bell, jingle bell. What the hell is he doing? What's going on? Take a look at this guy. There's a box of flares in the side compartment. Get out of half a dozen. Breaker, breaker, we got a uh, hit and run going east on I-80, about five miles outside of Reno. Oh, uh, forget it. We got a Smokey on the scene. Appreciate it. We're gone. You okay? <laughs> Watch your head. Easy. Are you sure you're all right? Nevada. Where the hell are we? You're just outside Reno. Of this truck to Reno. Man, don't you know we're on a tight schedule? Don't you ever think of anything but yourself? Hey, no, what's going on? What's happening here? Light enough, man. Besides, I think something in your pretty truck might be broken. I think it's something in the hydraulics, Red. I can get to it in a couple hours, Pete. Well, if that's the best you can do. Sorry, that's it. All right, Red.
helps me down my bag. Look, I'm gonna be here a while, so I'm gonna get a shower. I want you to stay in the truck, both of you. Pete. Listen, uh, I've been thinking about what you said. And... Well, you're right, I'm a selfish guy and I'm sorry. I really mean it. Look. No truck driver wants to be seen in Reno with a kid with green hair. <laughs> I got something for it in my bag, all right? Rocket. To the max. Three is my lucky number. Somehow I know this one's right. Three is now that's my some outfit. Well, what's the matter, cowboy? Don't you like Santa Claus? No, not especially. How about a designer water for me and a uh, soda pop for my father? Hey. Tried hard to forget her. Could not to get her out of my mind. All my friends they want me, but they never met her. If they ever did, they'd know why. Let's give it all to me in twenties. I like a nice big fat roll of bills. <laughs> Yeah. Did you like my grandfather? I mean, my dad talks about him like he was a god or something. He had Pete and I pegged from the time we were babies. The good boy, the bad boy. Yep, our father made a uh, adult out of your father by the time he was 12. She just figured I was a screw up, so. Well, I guess I didn't disappoint him anyhow. I guess that's why you and me get along so good. He's got father trouble. <clears throat> yeah, well, father trouble usually has two sides to it. What's yours? He doesn't care about me. That's all. That's all. He didn't care about my mom either, and that's how come she went away. What's his side of the story? How should I know? He's never even home most of the time. I hate him, and he hates me. What do you know about that? The guy from the hit and run. <clears throat> Excuse me, but do either of you gentlemen happen to drive a gray Lincoln? Who wants to know?
all checks out. We found paint from the hit and run in the Lincoln. Great. Terrific. Now will you let him go? So you can bring Christmas to the frozen north? Have I got that right? Yeah. Keep on more wood. The wind is chill, but let it whistle as it will. We'll keep our Christmas merry still. Ain't he a pistol? Sir Walter Scott made that up. Harf, shuffle these tough guys out the door. And don't jack around in my precinct anymore. I made that up. Darn fool brother the defender if you have to. I don't know if we can make it there by Christmas Eve. Now, Pete, you're the only one who can do this for me. I'm counting on you. Well, you know I'll do everything I can, Al. It's just more lost time. The question is, how are you? You sound weak. Of course I'm weak. They won't even let me get out of bed. Well, they're right. You stay there. Listen to them. Take care of yourself, Al. I'll talk to you. Bye. Mr. Benzinger? Yeah. Are you related to those two? Not really, Turtle. Ray and Pete's dad was my first partner when I came here from Alaska. He was also the best friend I ever had. Ever had? Yeah, old Jim died when the boys were teenagers. He did a pretty good job of bringing up Pete, but he really didn't have any idea what to do with Ray. He knew Pete was going to be all right, but Ray he couldn't get him to sit still for two minutes. Anyway, I promised him that I'd do my best with Ray to help him grow up to be a good man. That's about it, Turtle. What's in that truck, anyway? Uh-uh-uh. Don't you know that curiosity killed the cat? What happened to your hair? Yeah, don't get your hopes up. I'm dying of purple as soon as we get to Willow Creek. You're awful quiet tonight. Am I? Is something wrong? No. <sighs> Come on, Jess. Talk to me. What's up? I was just thinking about how sad it is that everybody can't just find the right person and be happy. What does that mean? I told myself that what I needed was a strong, sweet guy in my life. You know? The kind of guy you are. That's what I told myself. You shouldn't fall in love with me, Pete. <sighs> I'm already in love with you, Jesse. What are you trying to tell me? I like you. I mean, maybe I even love you. I'm just, I'm not in love with you. I'm just, I'm not in love with you. I'm not in love with you. Not in love with you. supposed to keep smiling. Let the rest of us be depressed. I wonder if Homer knew somehow. Knew what? It's 
Overland Lumber. I was going to announce it at the meeting today, but I didn't have the heart. Mayor, you got to wait till after Christmas to tell the people. You're our last hope, Charlotte. Guess there isn't much left for a series there. your father and Ray didn't. I guess... I, I guess I understood how he wanted us to turn out. You mean like you? Well, he's got you there, Ace. Because there was only one good father I can think of. And he ain't even a father. Yeah, who's that? You. What? Are you out of your tiny little mind? Listen, I'm not anybody's father, and I don't want to be anybody's father, all right? That's your father. If you don't like him, that's just too damn bad. crying out loud. Where in the hell are you going? Come on, get back in the truck. What is the matter with you? What is your problem? Al, Al says that load's got to be there by Christmas. Christmas. For some reason, you got to be there with it. Now my kid wants you for his father. Well, damn it all, Ray. It's all yours, whether you want it or not. I quit. gonna make him come back? Well, it's a free country, isn't it? Yeah, yeah well, uh, isn't the stuff supposed to get to Willow Creek? Do you care? No. Well, there you go. There I go what? He's the one that wants the load to get there by Christmas. Now, you don't care, and I don't care. He's the only one who does care. He knows that, and we know that. So sooner or later, he'll... Get up off that log, hop in a truck, and finish his job. He always does. to this joint, hoping to find some lucky guy tonight, huh? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. You know, if I had any sense, I'd, uh, I'd 
get Pete to marry me. He loves me and he's real safe. <laughs> oh, and what? I'm dangerous, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But there are uh, some things your brain says, uh-uh, don't do it. Your heart says go for it. Yeah. Sometimes that hurts nice people. So, uh... What, are you gonna get me to marry you? Maybe. You're serious, aren't you? Maybe. <clears throat> I don't want to hear one damn word. Portable scales just over the state line. Got a lot of trucks over there, two miles long, so uh, you got a long way. I ain't lying. Better bring your lunch or your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gone. Good morning, L.A. What a way to start the day, huh? They're still trying to clear up that five banger over on the eastbound Hollywood. Very slow going all the way up to the interchange. And it looks like an even bigger mess on both sides of the Ventura. Maybe they're using it for a parking lot for last-minute Christmas shoppers. That's right, folks. Only two more shopping days till Christmas. KXLY Copter Watch. What? Tap on your foot. You were just tapping your foot to my music just now. I was not. Well, you were too. I was not. <laughs> you lying? Hey! Stop that. We are not going anywhere with you. A couple of college girls doing research on the cowboy mentality. You see, honey, a part of the cowboy mentality is the cold of the West. That means that if we buy you breakfast, we get something in return. We shouldn't have even approached you. Come on, Lori. <laughs> Ow! Excuse me. Ladies, are these two pinheads bothering you? Yes. What are you calling pinheads? I'm stepping outside. Get him, Uncle Ray. buy your breakfast. Would your girls be a little more selective who you take up with? <laughs> take care. You wouldn't have done that in a million years. I'm through talking to you. Jesse? <laughs> Jesse, am I glad you answered the phone? I've been so worried about you, baby. What do you want, Ray? What do I want? Well, I'm your husband. What do you think? I... Look, I, I, I just want to talk to you, baby. You're doing all right. Don't call me again. Jesse. So oh. 
restless Why can't I stay where I belong I kissed her goodbye at breakfast Well, are you or aren't you? I think maybe you better sit down. Yeah. Is it that terrible a prospect? Look, um, Jesse, I, I'm a, look, baby, I'm a million miles away from, from from being an adult myself, you know. And what am I going to do with a with a kid? <laughs> look, I said when we first got married, I said that I didn't want kids, right? I. I said, Jesse, I, I, I don't want any kids. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Wait a minute, what are you doing? What does it look like? What, you, you, you're going to have a baby somewhere else? I said I was going to have a baby. Well, you did. No, I didn't. I just said you better sit down, that's all. So, so wait a minute, you... You're not going to have a baby. You, you mean you're not pregnant? Well, baby, that's, that's just great. You had me scared. Jesse, what are you doing? Why are you still packing? I don't want to be with you anymore. Why? Let's just say we made a mistake, okay? Let's just say we made a mistake? Jesse, now wait just a second. You... Would you think about this for crying out loud? You can't do this to me. Gosh, do you want kids that bad? No. No. No, I don't. Not with you, I don't. All right, fine, fine, fine. You do whatever you want. You just go wherever you want. You go ahead. You just go wherever you want to. Yeah. You just can't stay up there, doggone it. Yes, I can. And I'm gonna. All right, Sheriff. Do your duty. All right, Homer Hightower, you come down from there right now in the name of the law. No! Homer, all right for you. I'm arresting you for disturbing the peace. You go sit in your hat. I did my job. Homer! Did you ever stop to think that if we've got problems, you're only making them worse? A town Santa's gotta do what he's gotta do. Hey guys, can we 
we listen to some music here? We're just outside of Vancouver. We stopped to get a bite to eat. Pete, that's great. You're gonna get there. You're gonna make it before Christmas. We got more than a thousand miles of frozen north to cover. You know that. Well, Helen called the weather bureau, and you're looking at three inches at the most in the Yukon. Listen, we'll give you a buzz when we get into Willow Creek. You take care. Talk to you later. All right. Adios. Yeah, I'd like uh, four ham on whole wheat, uh, four roast beef on rye, and four cheeseburgers. Is that it? No. Uh, let me have four more sandwiches. Chicken on white bread. And uh, cut the crust off. Are you serious? Cut the crust off? Yeah. I'm getting my bike. Hey, where are you going? What's wrong? I'm going to see Jesse. We got no time for that, Ray. You can see her on the way back. Look, man, I talked to her yesterday and she was there. She was on the phone. And now the damn thing's disconnected. You do whatever you got to do. I'm going. Ray. Ray. Come on. Yeah. I'm rolling light on the wheel. Ray? Oh, God. Oh, baby, am I glad to see you. Oh, man, what are you doing here? I'm gonna run up north. My, uh... My partner's outside in the truck. Come on, I'm going to take you with me. No, please, just... Just go away. I'm, I'm fine. I'll be all right, all right? Are you crazy? You're all alone in this frozen outhouse and you got a gun and you say you're fine. Well, I'm sorry. I'm taking you with me now. Come on, Ray, let's go. come on, just No, let's just me. go. Come on. You're pregnant. Oh. I see your mama didn't have any dumb kids. That baby's mine, right? Uh, shut up, Ray. If you're going to rescue me, let's just get it over with. Okay, what are we going to do with the gun? Eat it. It's licorice. Oh, wow. Would you look at her? little detail I forgot to mention, my partner's Pete. I'll put your stuff in the truck. I really thought I could make it, but I, I got sick and then I had to quit my job and, well, that was that. There was three days rent left on the house. Jesse, when you left, you said that you weren't pregnant. I lied. So that's my baby, right? What do you care? What do I care? Oh, come off it for just a second, would you? You tell me, is that or is that not my baby? I'll tell you whose baby this is, Ray. It's mine. So shut up about it. hungry. It's yours, huh? Don't you think I'm I have a right to know a little... I'm not talking about it. I'm not talking about it. Fine. You know what I would love? I would love a chicken sandwich right now. Can 
Yeah, Becca. Chicken on white bread. The crusts are cut off. Guess I must have bought them for you. At four o'clock this morning, my wife woke me to say, Billy, get me to the doctor, our son's on his way. Well, I didn't have no gas in my old car. All my paycheck had gone for drinking. She had my son on the kitchen floor, and that's what got me thinking. Bar stools and babies don't mix. Singing rock a baby Don't need a rock and ride I don't mean just maybe Baby, don't cry Bar stools and babies don't mix From now on I'm home before six My old barroom buddies, I'm saying goodbye. From now on, I'm singing a new lullaby. Singing rock a baby, don't need a rock and ride. And I don't mean just maybe, baby. Something I think I ought to tell you, Homer. You know all them things the kids told you they wanted for Christmas? Well, uh, they're gonna be here tonight in a truck my cousin Al's sending up from California. Is that so? Oh, well, that's something, I guess. I knew that would make you happy. Uh, so you'll come down and give them out, eh? Nope. Well, why not? Well, something else has got to happen. Well, what? I have the faintest idea, but when it happens, I don't know. Homer, you're nuts. Guess what? It's going to be a blizzard. <gasps> you all right, Jess? You're not taking obstetrics in school, are you, Mikey? No, would you? Jesse, don't be silly. It, it, it couldn't be that. No, not in here. Hey, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? This is Mama Bear in Willow Creek. Yellow Bird, you got your ears on? You got the Yellow Bird, Mama Bear. Boy, are we glad to hear your voice. I don't think we're more than 20 miles from you. Yeah. Right. Where in the devil did this snow come from? It shouldn't build up much more, Yellowbird. Well, let's hope not. We got a lady on board, and she is in labor, even as we speak. My stars and guard is Yellowbird. Uh, we got an old sawbones here who's yeah. just dying to deliver <laughs> a baby. We'll be waiting with bells on. <laughs> I'm out. We're gone, too, Mama Bear. Charlotte. What? You can hear 
hardly see across the street. Hey, thanks, Charlotte. Let me know what happens, okay? All right, bye. I don't suppose you'd mind if I said a little prayer, would you? No. Nope. I can use all the help I can get right now. I can't even see the road, man. Guys, my contractions are coming faster. I'm driving as fast as I can, Jesse. I can't even see the road. Hey. I can't have the baby here. You're not gonna have it here. It's not gonna happen. Just be calm, hey? We're on ice. Trying to bring straight. I got it. Stop, we're okay. Why can't we see out? We're in a snowbank. But everything's all right, we're okay. Breaker, breaker, this is the yellow bird. We got a May Day in Wolf Pass. Oh. Come back. Repeat, this is the yellow bird. We got a May Day in Wolf Pass. Come back, please. Nothing. We must have broke the antenna off when we hit. I think my water just broke. What does that mean? It means I'm gonna have my baby here. That's what it means. Oh, fine. Fine. The engine died. Start it up again. Try it. Come on, baby. Come in, yellow bird. Nothing. They're in Wolf's Pass. I know it. There's got to be a house around here somewhere. I'm going to go check it out. I'm scared. Just take deep breaths. OK. That's it. Deep breaths. Pete. I'll roll the window down. Buenas noches. My name is Domingo. I am a shepherd. I think, senora, you need a midwife. Vengan ustedes. Come with me. Come. Come on, baby. We'll be all right. We'll give you a hand. Come on. Senor, it's me. Oh, hold on a second. I don't think that's Amigo. what we had in mind. Amigo, with these hands, I've brought into the world a thousand lambs. Oh, here, baby. It is better if I have someone to stroke the ewe and speak softly to her while I am bringing out the lamb. I can do that. I'm the father. Senor? Not you. Not you. Not you. He will help me. Yeah. Oh. 
Baby, I don't know about this. Go. 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 Hang on tight, Mikey. Hang on tight. Now, please go. And leave the midwife to his work. We will soon have a new lamb. Man, I had a bee in there, you know it? Her baby. That gets me. Why should that bother you? You don't want it. Oh, don't go telling me what I do and don't want. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking just maybe that baby is yours. Well, let me tell you something. It's not. That baby is mine. I never said it wasn't, Ray. And you think that maybe because your stupid brother Ray doesn't want his baby, that just maybe you can get Jesse back. Isn't that right? That's not true. Yeah, well, I got news for you, pal. Jesse don't love you. I know that, Ray. I'll tell you what I would do. I'd take that baby and I'd raise it if she wanted me to. I'd take care of her, too. <laughs> Man, you're crazy, you know that? No, you would do that, wouldn't you? You're damn right I would. You'd do that because that's the kind of guy you are, Mr. Responsible. Oh, that's right. You are the grown-up around here, aren't you, Pete? Damn you, why don't you just love the kid you got? Very soon. Hang on tight, Mikey. Look, man, uh... <laughs> What'd you do that for? Because you're right. That's for never giving me the satisfaction of fighting me. That's because you've been having it coming for a long time. That's for never, never getting mad at me for stealing Jesse. And that's for stealing Jesse. He's so little. Jesse, the whole time you were away, I, all I could think about was how much I wanted to have you back. I'm a, I'm a screw up, Jesse. I guess I always will be. <laughs> But I love you more than anything, and I want you back. I want that, that little baby. 
droite, Borsé. Will you come back? You really and truly want the baby? Yes. I do. Something did. Oh, 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 quit hugging me, Charlotte. Oh, hey, Homer. Hey, come on. Oh. We gotta get that Christmas truck out of Wolf Pass. And deliver a baby. Yeah. Well, let's get Welcome to Willow Creek. I'm Charlotte Kemper, and uh, you're in a snowdrift. <laughs> oh, where would you look at that baby? Oh. Let me hold the little darling. Why, it can't be more than an hour old. Young lady, did you have the baby in this truck? No, no, in a little house. Well, we were stuck in this storm, and a, a shepherd found us. Domingo, that was his name. He, he delivered our baby. What little house, for goodness sake? It oh. couldn't have been more than 100 yards off that way through the woods. Are you sure this happened around here? Well, it was, uh, it was snowing pretty hard. We couldn't see a whole heck of a lot. And there were sheep. Lots sheep. of sheep. You sure you wasn't a caribou you saw? <laughs> no, sir. It, 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 was, it was sheep. Well, the important thing is, whoever delivered it, the little tyke's healthy. All right, Duck. Now, you folks can come along with us. The rest of you get back to work, digging out this Christmas truck. You're right underneath there. Charlie, give me a hand over here. All right, I'm coming. It was here, wasn't it? It was all here. This is weird. because I don't want you to miss it. What is it, Thurgood? What'd you get? I don't know. Oh. There's no 
robot truck. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. Hey, what? Oh, over here. What's this? Merry Christmas to Ray and my Willow Creek family. Love, Al. Well, young lady, you're perfect. So is this little boy. Son, you and your brother did an amazing job. Couldn't have done any better myself. Of course, there is this umbilical knot. It ain't the kind of knot an obstetrician ties. It's the sort of vet uses on goats and sheep. Hey, Ray, Jesse, you gotta come quick. Well, what it looks like to me... There's enough stuff so you can make about 10 tons of chili. What's that got to do with you, Ray? What in tarnation has it got to do with Willow Creek? Yeah, I know what it has to do with Ray. He makes great chili. He won the Coast to Coast Chili Cook-Off with it. Run her up, little buddy. Just run her up. I get it. Hey, don't you folks see? This fella knows how to make chili. We got a whole truck full of chili makings, and what we got is an idle, doggone cannery! Hey! Hey! Much of a surprise to me as it is to them. <laughs> you know, Al's been trying to make me do something with my life for as long as I can remember. I just never gave two cents about it till now. Because now I have you. I have a baby. What would you think about maybe staying in Willow Creek for? Just a little while. We'll be giving this <laughs> chili business a shot. Well, I always figured home is where the people you love are. So if Willow Creek is where you want to be, I guess we're home. This day for Christmas Day will be. Yeah. Fatherhood. <laughs> Man, it's a funny thing, you know. I speak from experience. <sighs> I want my kid to be like you. That way I won't have so much trouble raising him, you know? <laughs> you got yourself a real chore. You've uh, you got a kid just like me. How'd you get to be so smart all of a sudden? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's um, maybe it's all that long-haired music you've been exposing me to. Ah. <laughs> hey, I want you to admit to one thing. What's that? Back there, you were tapping your foot to my music. <laughs> <laughs> huh? All right, I'll admit it. All right. <laughs> Forgive and forget. You got it. Hey, uh, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. The baby's my cousin, right? Yeah, he sure is. 
Every time I see him from now on, I I can tell him I help bring him into the world. I never did anything important before, you know. When your mom went away, it took something out of you that I, I've never been able to put back. I guess so. Well, I want you to know that it, it took something out of me, too. It did? Yeah, it did. I guess maybe we should have let each other know how much we were hurting. But <laughs> we were both too busy acting like jerks. I apologize for that. Me too, Dad. Well, maybe I can start making it up to you a little bit. Al just offered me a partnership in a business. I guess he figures it's time for him to start taking it a little easy. Anyway, if I take it, it'll mean I won't be going out on the road anymore. I'll retire the Yellowbird. What do you think about that? I think it'd be great. There's something else I ought to tell you. <laughs> you see, when we decided to blow the plumbing out of the gym, Groves and Featherstone wanted to use one cherry bomb. I figured it would take at least 10 to make any noise. We blew the toilet clean through the floor of the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Jeez, we got expelled. The old man wailed on me. I couldn't sit for a week. I love you, Dad. And then, in English class, I, I sat way in the back. I love you too, son. In about every 10 minutes, I come out with these frog noises. Knee deep, knee deep. What an exciting game we have going on here tonight. Is that guy next door mowing his lawn on Christmas? I don't think so. Telegram goes with it. With what? What is this? Dear Al, thanks for the help. Love, Santa. V.S. There's a little something for you outside. Ella, you better tell me what's going on. <laughs> what are you grinning at? Is your own personal white Christmas from everybody at Willow Creek. Well, I'll be. Snow! It's not snow, darling. It's loud. Well, I hope it packs down, because I haven't thrown a snowball in 20 years. Hey! California kids don't know nothing about this. Gather around and watch a pro. You gotta pack it tight, pack it. It's a secret. Where you go. Oh, okay, wise guy. You ask We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish. 